It's as goes Israel, so goes the world with none other than Avi Lipkin, the founder of the Bible Block Party, the world traveler, the speaker, the scholar. Uh, to know him is to love him, my dear friend, right there in the desert of Israel. How are you, Avi? Everything fantastic, praise God, in spite of the war. In spite of the war. You know, uh, folks, you're going to get more of an accurate uh, accounting of what's happening from the boots on the ground. And, uh, of course, the war hasn't stopped. You know, Hamas is, has, of course, bought time, and and uh, this administration has continued to send billions of dollars to uh, to uh, uh, Iran, who funds Hamas, as well as other parts of, of the world that is owned by Hamas, like the U.N., and some would say the American media. But with all that said, Avi, give us an update of what is happening right now, uh, boots on the ground, so to speak, in Israel. Okay, well, firstly, we are facing a war, basically, on the five fronts. Uh, of course, uh, what you get in the media, if you get anything at all, is usually about uh, Gaza. And uh, the Israeli military, um, uh, because of the horrendous things that Hamas did, uh, it has to be made very clear that Hamas, in spite of President Biden, Hamas has to be totally liquidated. And, um, you know, we have top people from the American military coming and uh, uh, diplomats telling us to be considerate about uh, uh, civilian casualties, which we are. And one of the things I heard today, which is very interesting, is that uh, when the United States goes into battle, uh, the average uh, uh, proportion of dead civilians to uh, terrorists is uh, basically one in one. You know, in other words, for every terrorist who's killed, uh, one, you know, person, you know, uh, I, I might be getting the numbers wrong. But the Europeans, uh, when they go into battle uh, for every terrorist killed, five civilians die. And uh, Israel is right there, one for one. For one. In other words, uh, and here comes the crazy stuff. Hamas says, that uh, we killed uh, uh, 15 or 20,000 people, uh, but uh, their soldiers, they only lost 6,000. So, you know, if we, we I, I, if I'm saying, if we killed uh, 6,000 so of their soldiers, then it should be 6,000 dead civilians. Uh, but what really has happened is that uh, it's, we are. We know it's one for one. So if if we killed fifteen thousand, you know, civilians, so we killed fifteen thousand terrorists, which the Hamas refuses to admit. But Hamas is being completely uh, worn down and destroyed. And uh, we we had basically taken uh, the northern third of the Gaza Strip, and then we had the prisoner exchange, which is a very good thing, uh, which which happened. Uh, but then they had 17 women and children, and uh, I, I don't know if you can forgive me for saying this on, on the show, but uh, basically they, they raped the women and then chopped them up. So basically, we are very afraid there are no more women. Uh, they raped the children. Hamas also rapes the men, in case you didn't know that uh, they are bisexual. Uh, and, you know, it, it, this is in Islam. My wife's father and brother uh, were arrested uh, in the Six-Day War by the Egyptians because they were Jewish. There was no, simply, they, were, they arrested all the Jewish men between 17 and 75, and uh, they raped all the men in the Egyptian jail, the, the Egyptian jailers. They beat them, they raped them. So raping is part of the Islamic mentality, raping yes. women, raping children, ra raping right. men. Right. Um, Most people don't know that. Most people don't know that there's the Islamic saying uh, that our American soldiers got in trouble for when they would take justice into their own hands. And the yeah. saying was, uh, women are for children and boys are for pleasure. You didn't know yeah. that, did you, folks? Uh, but that is the case. You know, of course, uh, Chris Stevenson, who pleaded with uh, Hillary, I'm sorry, Hillary, uh, for more uh, security in Benghazi when Obama sold uh, ISIS, I mean, o uh, ISIS stole weapons from Benghazi, uh, you know, they raped him and paraded him through the streets. You didn't see that in American media either. You also don't see in American media 
uh, the the hospital that 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 serves every person, Arab or Jew. Uh, that's been bombed multiple times. It's also a children's hospital in Israel, but the media doesn't like to report on that either. And so uh, there's a lot about Islam that most people do not realize. You know, the the woman uh, whom Hamas proudly taped her mouth shut and cut open her pregnant belly and and took out the baby and beheaded the baby on video. Uh, you know, I wonder if, if today's uh, multicultural never had a job, liberal professor knows about that or even cares about that. And that's the reason why we're doing this show, as goes Israel with Avi Lepkin. Folks, you need to know the truth. Somebody's got to tell it to you, and we're not for sale. But Avi, the atrocities that have happened, I'm amazed uh, at the restraint of Israel. I heard it said the other day on a new show uh, that if Israel did not care about civilian casualties, this war would be over. What say you? Well, yes, uh, indeed. I, ha I have to tell you that uh, this will sound very cliche, but uh, everybody hates the, the Palestinians, except for one people, and that's the Israeli Jew. We, 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 at least until the 7th of October, we have been living with them in spite of the conflict with the Palestinians, you know, they work with us, they live with us, they eat with us. Uh, these people in the Gaza envelope surrounding Gaza, these Arab terrorists worked for the Jewish people there on the border. And many of these Jewish people were socialists and totally pro-Gaza, pro-peace. And then when Gaza came in, they killed everybody. Uh, they killed and they raped and they pillaged. And some of the ladies who came out uh, from a uh, hostage uh, deal, uh, they said, you know, we have been so pro-Palestinian and pro-Hamas. We've been with you all this time. Why do you do this to us? In other words, like, why don't you go get the settlers who are anti-Islamic and kill them? No, you come and you kill us, the socialists, the leftists, the, the pro-peace people. And so we know we're sitting here and saying, what this? Jews are telling the terrorists to go kill other Jews. And I hate to say it, but kind of like they deserved it. And, you know, I have to tell you, uh, there's a very interesting story today in the news that there was a guy who didn't live at all in the area, and he got a call from the military to take his M16 and take all the magazines that he had in his house, uh, all the ammunition clips, go straight, you know, to the battle area there. There were 3,500 terrorists. Who, were over, who ran, overran the uh, kibbutzim and moshavim and, and towns. And um, he got there and he saw dead bodies everywhere because, you know, these Hamas terrorists, they were shooting girls and boys who just went to a, you know, a pot party, you know, uh, getting high uh, on the Sabbath, uh, right. which is also, right. also a sin. Wait, wait, with and, the 30-foot uh, gold Buddha. Don't yeah. hear about that in the media, do you, folks? And... Uh, what happened was he said that he went in with a bunch of soldiers and one by one, and they were killing so many uh, Gaza terrorists who were there shooting at them. But one by one, all his, uh, all his buddies got shot by the terrorists because, you know, you're, you're dealing with a handful of guys fighting off thousands of terrorists. And he was basically left alone in the middle of the battle. And he, he, he swore an oath to God. He said, if you get me through this alive, I will keep the Sabbath. And all of a sudden, within a few seconds, all the shooting stopped and everyone disappeared. He's going to synagogue now on the Sabbath. He wasn't religious before. Uh, so there, there are a number of stories like that and miracles that happened. There was a lady, for example, who had a book uh, called the Zohar. Uh, the Zohar is a book of Jewish uh, mysticism. Very few people can understand it because it's right. very, very high level. But there was a woman who was all alone at home, and when she heard the shooting and the Hamas were coming to kill everybody, she hid in, in a closet with a Zohar book in her hand in total darkness. And um, the, the letters in the book lit up while she was in the dark of the closet. Wow. And she wow. was praying, praying and reading and praying and reading. And uh, about eight hours later, uh, Shooting, the Israeli soldiers came. There was not one bullet mark on her house, and she was, of course, not injured. So uh, you know, sometimes you know, listen, Christians both have similar. Uh, I've heard many uh, testimonies from Christians of miracles like this. God is there, and it's the God of the Jew and the God of the Christian. 
you, um, you see it? So, but the, the point I'm saying is that now um, the Israeli military uh, ha has been in control of the northern uh, part of the Gaza Strip, and uh, we have uh, discovered 500 uh, shaft openings of uh, tunnels, uh, 900, and 500 have been taken care of. And we lost soldiers because they booby trapped the, the shaft, the entrances to the to these tunnels. Of course. Um, so we go in with robots and we go in with special dogs. When they smell the dynamite, they immediately pull back and we know that soldiers should not go in. So they just block off the whole thing. Whatever inside that tunnel uh, gets, you know, buried there. Um, what has happened in the last two days since they, they, since Hamas has broken its promise to release 17 women and children, well, personally, I don't think they're alive anymore because they said whatever they had, they gave us. They kill everybody. Um, and um, uh, now the Israeli military, the last two days, have been uh, in the center of Gaza and the south of Gaza. So basically, you know, the Israeli military and the government are saying it's going to take many months. It will take many months to, uh, uh, to purge the tunnels of these terrorists. But uh, I personally think that this uh, part of the war will be over within two weeks. Now, when, it, when that's over, uh, we have 100,000 uh, Israelis from the north of Israel who have been you know, removed from their homes by the Israeli military and taken to hotels in the Dead Sea and Elat. And they said, we're not going back there until Hezbollah is gone. You know, we had a complete idiot, idiot for prime minister in 1999. He was the former chief of staff, El Barak, and he chopped the army uh, into pieces and said, oh, we want a small army, which is smart, smart, but small army. And well, you know who he, who he worked for. <laughs> and yes. Yeah, so anyway, so, uh, also, he was a, a regular visitor at, at Jeffrey Epstein's island. Of course. Yeah. Anyway. I, uh, I... Anyway, I, I, don't, I don't want to sully your show. Uh, but, no, no, no. Uh, you, you're, the, this show was created for you, my friend. Speak freely. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, what, what happened was uh, we had an, a, a, a mini, mini army in the south of Lebanon, which is Christian, primarily Christian, South Lebanese army. And uh, one day in 2000, you know, El Barak says, OK, we're out. And the, the Christians were left holding the bag. And so the Christians dropped everything and fled to the border, left their cars on the Lebanese side of the border and came across. Um, many of them afterwards left Israel. I think there are only like 3,000 left of the uh, South Lebanese army. If they had stayed in Lebanon, they would have been killed by Hezbollah. And Hezbollah came all the way up to the border fence. And so now we have to go to war again with Hezbollah because this crazy El Barak withdrew from Lebanon. And El Barak has some more surprises. He's working on a coup d'etat to overthrow Netanyahu. And I think if we're talking about philosophy here, I think what we're seeing is that the, the God in heaven knew about the coup d'etat. And uh, God will forgive me for saying this, but the war on September, uh, uh, on October 7th was actually a miracle because we were about to have a civil war in which Jew would be killing Jew, but socialists. We're going to overthrow Netanyahu, where the Netanyahu supporters, including myself, are the majority. And uh, the socialists uh, are, are, have been planning this all along to try to overthrow the government. It started with the uh, judicial reform. If you remember, there were 10 months of demonstration uh, against uh, Netanyahu. The judicial reform is something which is very necessary for Israel. So anyway, so now, now, now that we're approaching the, uh, the, the victory in Gaza, uh, the left-wing people are saying, okay, now is the time to overthrow Netanyahu. You know, while our boys are still in uniform fighting, this war united the Jewish people. And I think God's going to give us another gift. And this other gift is going to be the opening up of the Lebanese front with Hezbollah uh, to keep the Jewish people united because we Jews are so stupid that the left-wing people are tolerated where they should actually be put, put up against walls and shot. Because these people want to destroy the will of the majority of the Jewish people, which is a strong Israel, a strong army, a strong government, 
judicial reform, get all the communists, all the socialists out of the, out of the work, woodwork, because these people control everything to this day. Likud is in power, but the people who control are the socialists and the uh, atheists and the anti-God people. This whole uh, tragedy on September, uh, on, I think September, on October 7th, right. um, was a, a travesty, uh, which, which I believe it was the punishment from God for the 1,200, 1,300 people who were murdered at this uh, pot party. You know, there was a, a drug party, a, an alcohol party, a totally, total immorality taking place on the Sabbath. And, uh, you know, I'm not a very religious Jew, but I would never, ever allow my children to say, oh, we're going to go to this pot party. You know, we're all going to get high on drugs and everything. So you're not going, you're, I'm locking out the door. You're not going out. Well, the, um, the, yeah, the, they were breaking both the laws of Islam and uh, Judaism. Oh, when they when the Gaza people heard about this party, they went nuts. They said, wow, what an opportunity to kill the Jews. And when they came across, you know what? This thing was supposed to have been coordinated with Iran and with uh, Hezbollah in Lebanon. And when Gaza decided that this party was just a debate, was too tempting, they went against their agreements with Hezbollah and Iraq. And so, you know, they, Hezbollah and Iran said, well, you know, we'll help you a little bit, but we're not, we're not going to go down the tubes because of, you know, your decision which you made by yourselves. And so now Hamas is uh, paying the price. Praise God. And I don't know what's going to happen with the Gaza people because, you know, 70 or 80 percent of the Gaza people support Hamas. Uh, and probably what we need to do is uh, if you remember your history, which I'm sure you do, uh, just as with the people of Germany in 1945, look at the German people today. The German people today are, are, are cultured. They were always cultured, but the point is that the military occupation and the rewriting of the textbook by the Allies helped to reorganize the, the mentality of the young people. If you remember, those who had gone to Hitler youth were like Hamas. These are like kids who go to Hamas, they're crazy. And uh, so I think we have to uh, do the same thing with Gaza. I am not saying to kill 2 million Gazans. I'm saying to uh, redo the educational process, redo the whole system, uh, hopefully with the help of the US and other Western powers. And probably, and this is where I get into trouble because I say the mosques have to be shut down. The, 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 the leaders in the mosques who have been preaching still the Jews must be all put in jail. Uh, so there will probably be, I don't know if you remember in World War II, uh, there were Nazi groups still fighting the Allies in 1947. And so there will be continued problems with these Gaza oh. Muslims. But, but in the end, there, if you do not bring them a civilized Western civilization democracy, uh, the war will never end. And it's going to get worse and worse. And you know, I have to tell you something. I don't know again if it was in your news or not, but uh, now the Houthis, you know, the Shiite Muslims in Yemen, they attacked three ships today. And they also attacked the U.S. Uh, military, you know, the S USS Carney. And uh, an Israeli Navy ship just joined the American ship. They're there. And it's kind of like, I think something's going to happen with, uh, with the Houthis in uh, Yemen. Uh, because what they're doing is they're threatening international shipping. And uh, one of the ships was hit by a uh, missile, and they had to dump overboard a few hundred containers because the ship was uh, lifting. Uh, the ship, if the ship had sunk, 900 containers would have been lost. I mean, this is a, a threat to the whole, <laughs> I know you hate the word globalist system, but this would have been a threat to international. Oh, well, you, you and I are in agreement, uh, yeah. you know. Uh, there is a globalist system. There are those who, I believe, as of a few days ago, they want to reduce uh, cattle by 80% because of cow gas. Uh, yeah. But, of course, they'll still eat their beef wellington and filet mignon uh, while, while we are supposed to eat bugs. And it, it happens as long as people turn a blind eye, as long as they're willfully stupid. You know, yeah. it, it's, it, it's the same thing, you know, the... Uh, the ones that were massacred on October 7th, horrible tragedy, but they were mocking the Sabbath. They were mocking Sukkot. They were mocking the faith of their fathers, and look what happened. By the uh, way, I wanted to add, I wanted to add, 
are some very, very good Jews who are not mocking the Sabbath, but these were soldiers who died fighting to, to save these people. So good innocent people also died in the fighting on October 7th because of the sins of these uh, party goers. Right. Oh, yeah. Collateral damage. You know, you know the, the, the Marine Corps, the Navy, was partially founded because of, uh, you know, the, the pirates and uh, the Muslim pirates. People don't understand that. You know, this has been a problem for a long time. Uh, there are still black slaves in chains right now in most Muslim countries. But that's not a convenient truth, because those who propagate a race war in America are funded by those who still have black slaves. And it's amazing. You know, uh, Avi, I, I, I concluded an, a new show that reached 31 million people. But it became depressing because people don't care. But we care. And people like us care. But if you feed a jackal, he'll only eat more. And if you try to appease a jackal, he'll eat you last. You know, uh, uh, I think it was Winston Churchill who said that a, an appeaser is someone who who uh, ho hopes a cro crocodile, what feeds a crocodile and hopes it eats him last. You know, what wisdom? Uh, war is a very profitable uh, endeavor. You know, there's actually something called the House of Krupp that you can invest in now for war. War is profitable, and innocent lives are are are, are uh, wasted, you know. But here we are with an ideology. It always, it always amuses me, not the tragedies, but movies. We're fighting an ideology we can't understand. Of course you can understand. Read it in their book. Kill all who don't follow a law, you know. Uh, crucify them, you know. Uh, ambush them. You know, they're going to kill the people of Saturday and the people of Sunday. I mean, what can you not understand? Can't you read? But, you know, it's not profitable to speak the truth. And good uh, good news doesn't sell as much as bad news. And but the truth is now called a conspiracy theory until three months later. But here we are in the age of ignorance and willful ignorance. And people say they care, Avi, but they don't care. Unless they act on it. So, or unless, they, or unless they get attacked. Or unless they get attacked. And then what? They're, they're back out on the streets being paid $200 a night. By so Wait a second. Wait a second. Yeah. George W. Bush on 9-11, you know, he said, well, what do we do? Do we fight Islam? He says, no. Allah is God. And the, the, the Islam is a peaceful religion. Go back to sleep. So for three weeks, you had a lot of people going to church. And then after three weeks, everybody was put back to sleep again by George W. Bush. Why? George W. Bush was in the hands of the oil people. Well, of course. He's also a globalist. And they had a plan to, to uh, you know, change the regime of six countries, including Iran. That didn't happen. Kind of wish that it did. But here we are. You know, people have no idea. What What is the truth? Well, you know, it's like Pontius Pilate said, asked, what is truth? If I could find a man that knew the truth, I'd take him back to Rome with me. And here we are in the new Rome. You know, you mentioned maybe America will help re-educate uh, Palestinians. Well, maybe after we re-educate our own youth, you know, our universities have become Marxist centers. Uh, the Muslims pay universities very well to have... Uh, you know, their organizations using the freedom of speech to build caches in their mosque around the country. When I was repeating reporting for Brigitte Gabrielle uh, in 2010, they would immediately come here on Saudi money, on Iranian money. They would file for a 501c3 and they would begin renovating houses, building mosques in their neighborhoods. That's what they do, folks. And uh, let me tell you something. I don't hate people. Uh, I have one enemy. And uh, he's about nine foot tall, and he uh, he's called the Prince of Darkness. But, you know, besides that, people are used by the enemy. They're used as puppets. And money talks. And unfortunately, you know, I, I, I saw a discussion this morning, and, and uh, I was producing news that came out of communist China by the persecuted church. A lot of their pastors told them, don't worry, don't worry, don't vote. Don't worry, Jesus will come back and take you away before it gets bad. Well, I wonder if, if the Christians in Ukraine, in China, in Venezuela, right? In Russia, in Germany, in Gaza, 
I wonder if the they thought that. And 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 look, 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 look where greed has got us, folks. Look where look where cowardice has got us. That why that's why we need the black robes back in America. Those outlaw preachers who preach freedom and justice and mercy. No king but Christ. King George wanted them dead. Now we have a new king that one no one wants to talk about. But this new King Charles uh, is propagating and headlining the globalist efforts. Did you know that, folks? When are you going to wake up? Maybe you wake up in line at a FEMA camp. But for those who are, who have a brain, who have wisdom, for those who have an ear, let him hear. See what is happening. The Bible is true. And the only thing that makes sense in this world is the word of God and God. And so here we are, Avi. You know, as we wind down in this As Goes Israel episode, we encourage people to speak the truth. You know, uh, uh, the the <laughs> there's been celebrities who have had to apologize by their handlers because they were telling the LGBT community, wait a minute, you're so, you're standing for Hamas? You'd be the first ones raped and killed and thrown off buildings. But it requires common sense and wisdom. Or does it? Maybe it just requires the absence of greed for people. But Karl Marx calls those people useful idiots. Uh, think about all the useful idiots that protested on behalf of these uh, dictators in these communist countries. They were among the first to be killed, too, once their usefulness was gone. You know, and you, you brought up a point earlier, you know, uh, those leftist Jews, socialists, uh, you know, uh, you think they learned anything? No, they didn't learn anything. They're protesting against the very one who has kept Israel intact. But, well, actually, God has kept Israel intact, but he's used Netanyahu miraculously through all the jokes of presidents that we have had, all those who he trusted. It took an outsider, the only one not related by blood, the only one not uh, whose ancestors did not own slaves, the only one hugged and kissed on by Al Sharpton and the Reverend Jesse Jackson, and that's none other than Trump. Love him or hate him, I don't blindly follow him, but is it, is it a coincidence that the Trump of Egypt, El Sisi, uh, has the same values now for fighting terrorism as the Trump of America? You know, folks, I tell you what, we better pray that God saves America, and we are praying for the people of Israel. We're praying for the pastors in America who will not make the same uh, mistake as China and Venezuela and Russia and Germany and Gaza and all that. Oh, don't worry. The Lord will come back and take you out of trouble. You know what? If you don't care about your fellow man, if you don't care about those who are victims, if you don't care about the innocent lo losing their lives, then you don't know the person you claim to know. But it is time that those who love God, it is time, you know, that we, uh, that we come together, we speak the truth, we say what we mean, and we mean what we say. And we do that to the very end, don't we, Avi? Yep. So as we close out, my friend, blessings on you. We love you. I love you, my friend. And love love you too. Israel, and God save America. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching As Goes Israel with Avi Lipkin, and thank you for supporting GLC.